Previously on Triple Mag, we're a new show featuring myself and my two daughters on our fun and crazy hunting adventures around the world. Hi, my name's Mad Dog. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm 16 years old. I have two passions in life and that is playing the guitar and hunting. Drop him, baby. Sadie, drop him right this time. I know. Look at that. First velvet buck, South Carolina. We're headed to Wyoming for my first spot and stock mule deer hunt. Never hunted mule deer, never been to Wyoming, and never hunted spot and stock with my bow, so that's all pretty exciting. I'm so excited, but it's also a little bit of a bittersweet trip because girls just went back to school they couldn't come on this trip so they're a little bummed about that and also our real good friend Austin and camera guy who was supposed to come on this trip with us got in a really bad car accident so he's recuperating in the hospital he's hoping to be back and ready to go by November even if we have to wheel him out there we're gonna get him out there to do some hunting and uh, so he better be here with me next year because I feel bad guilty going without him but I'll get him a big buck and send him some good pics. So, off to Wyoming we go. From the cool morning air waking me up to the sun sinking low at dusk. Somewhere in the middle an adrenaline rush when that big buck steps out of the brush and we pass it on down through the family. From grandpa to daddy and on to me. Chasing birds They taught me everything I know, now I'm ready to go. Got my 300 short Mag and Matthews bow. Looking for a rack with 12 inch G2s, can't wait to say. Rest in peace, dude. Hey! Good morning. This is our friend uh, Zach from back home and he guides out here in Wyoming and he's going to take us out this morning and I'm excited. Yeah, it should mm -hmm. be fun. You should see a lot of deer. Yeah, So good. we'll be some hunting in the uh, sand hill draws, little coolies, some river drainages. Yeah. Okay. Spot and stalk. My first time. I'm very excited but still a little nervous. How far will my shots be? Uh, most of the shots will be between 20 and 50 yards. Um, 30 to 40 is the majority of them. I can do that. All right. I'm doing real good at that right now, so I can do You're that. You're drilling them at 50. That's You're right, drilling. I'm drilling them at 50, that's, that's right. So 30 to 40, no problem, I got it. Nice. So, yep, cool. Well, let's get some breakfast and head out, right? All right. All right. got the camp. I'm going to practice my bow here real quick, make sure everything's on before we head out. Um, here in Wyoming, we came in on this dirt road, like 35 miles on a dirt road. It's so awesome. We saw so many deer coming in. We saw an elk. He looked huge to us. Zach says it's a lot bigger here, but he was huge to me. So, um, see how, how my bow is shooting here. I never did show you my boots for this trip, which are my sneakers, so I can be sneaky as we're putting on these stocks. I hope they, I hope they work. Just did a little target practice. I think my bow's on. Got my binoculars, my rangefinder. Your license. My license. Let's go get the deer. I think I'm ready. Ready as I'm gonna be, right? <laughs>
We just spotted a nice buck down in one of these ravines. There's a white rock down there and he's in that ravine. We can't see him right now, but we know he's in there somewhere, so we're just gonna sit here and wait him out. He looks like he's probably like 140 to 150 class. He's good enough for me, I'll take him for my first mule deer. Oh, that's great. This is how we get our shine on. This is how we get our shine on. That's how I get my shine on. Get your shine on. Show us how you get your shine on. For more details, visit us on Facebook or go to shineattire.com. For almost 20 years, Blackwater Hunting Services has been providing quality hunts at affordable prices. For more information, visit us at blackwaterhunting.com. Triple Mag is brought to you by these fine sponsors. We had that shooter spotted this morning. We were going to sit and wait him out until someone came and kind of brought their truck right up by us and spooked him out of there because we are hunting on public land, so nothing we can do about that, but he was a nice one, too. There's a cattle drive going on here. It's a 33-mile cattle drive, and we just got blocked by it on the way to our hunting spot, and so we pulled over here, found this little campsite. This is a really awesome place, and um, we're going to watch the cattle drive for a couple minutes and then head on up. And I'm coming back fishing here tomorrow because it's gorgeous. Here's one of our guide buddies out here. Bye-bye. That's a true cowboy. It's been a cowboy his whole life. <laughs> they jumped up several big bucks this morning, moving cattle through, right where we're going to go. Uh, good news is there's parts of uh, his property that they didn't move any cattle through, and there's going to be some bucks in there. Coming out for the evening hunt, we're gonna try to slip down over this little ridge here and see if anything's bedded up in the shade. But look at that scenery, it's phenomenal, it's so beautiful. <gasps> I see a good one. The wind is perfect. I'm gonna grab my bow, we're gonna put a stock on him.
Well, it took me probably like three hours to make it this far down here on this stock and a prairie chicken flushed right behind me, scared me, but didn't really seem to spook him much, but I think he just had a sixth sense and he thought that he better just go the other way and not continue to come my way. So that's the way it goes. Well, it's morning number two and we're getting out here a little late this morning because we slept in because we thought that our cabins, the electricity would work even if the lights were shut off, but when we shut the light off, all of our electricity was off, so our phones are all dead because they're searching for service out here, and um, we plugged them in, set our alarms, and <laughs> no alarms this morning, so <laughs> we're getting out here a little late, but it's overcast and we've got a good breeze today. Yesterday it was dead still, and that's not good for our spot and stocks, so today we're hoping that we can put on a good stock with having the, the wind in our favor, so let's go. There are two bucks bedded down at the bottom of this ravine and we're going to try to very carefully make our way down there because we're going to be exposed like most of the way down over here so let's see what we can do. Well, we made a long stock on two beautiful mule deer. We needed to get five more yards so I could have had the shot, but one snap of a twig and it was all over. <laughs> made it. We had a long stalk down over here through all that sagebrush. Old snap of a big old twig and big daddy. My cameraman left me down this time. But I'm just kidding. Really, it's really hard. To, <laughs> he's gonna cry. It's really hard to get through that stuff and just one step over a piece of sage and big old snap and they heard it and alerted them and they turned, stood up and turned and looked and we're going to put him in slippers, I think. The Indian stalker <laughs> slipped up. Oh, goodness. Oh, well. That's that. Oh, Let's go down the hill. We got it's too close. We to, to go up the hill, so. Oh, Mama's getting stiff and old and tired. Powderhorn Hunting Preserve provides the hunting experience of a lifetime. Located in the heart of the beautiful Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania. We have been hunting these mountains for generations and we want to share the unparalleled scenery and excitement with you, the serious hunter. Powderhorn provides you with a guaranteed, heart-pounding, successful hunt. Each hunt is guided by an experienced and knowledgeable staff member of the preserve whose sole purpose is to help you create the hunt of a lifetime. This segment is brought to you by Keitlinger Motors. We 
We just spotted three really, or we saw three really nice bucks. We've been watching them for a while. They're out by that little stone hut out there. They went down over the knob behind it. They just slipped down over the backside of it, so we're gonna try to hurry and go around them and get on the backside. The wind is coming this way, so we've got the wind in our favor, so we're gonna hurry. There he is, you see him? Yeah. He's about 40 to 45 yards. Just stay still. He's gonna walk right in front of you. Okay. Just, just let him keep coming. He's gonna be about 30 yards when he gets to that little tree. Just let him walk through. When he steps out to the other side, you should be able to drop back. So close. Oh, that was the closest encounter yet. But he was on me the whole time. I couldn't draw back. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't do anything. Oh, man. If he would have just stopped instead of bowling. <sighs> Let's go find another one. we just got real close to, we're gonna try to get back on them. All they did was cross this open pasture and bed it down under a rock ledge so we can get right back on them. I guess we just aren't gonna get this done today. That was horrible. We were in awful positions. My abs were just shaking the way we were sitting. 30 to 40 yard shot. They just sensed us again and stood up and tried to pull back, but they were running and I couldn't get a shot. So we've put on some hard, hard stocks today and they just haven't panned out, but we got real close. Can't shoot them running. Best right away clearing contractor in the business. Contact Koga Right Away Clearing. This segment is brought to you by XS Iron.
Well, we decided to take a little break. Our morning stock didn't turn out once again. Close, but no cigar once again. So we've been eyeing this uh, Powder River up here every time we go past it. So we did bring along a fly fishing rod, so we decided to stop and give it a little quick try and take a little break from hunting for a few minutes. Beware, because fly fishing is not my forte. I'm gonna give it a try, but I usually get tangled or I get in trouble because I don't do it right. <laughs> this is just not my thing. I really can't do it. Lisa. It's mom. Hi mom. Why haven't you called us? Yeah, I finally got to call. It's been, we're so remote here. I had to climb way up on top of this hill and finally got a little bit of cell service. Did you get one? We saw some big bucks, but I just haven't been able to get a shot yet. I bet I could have got a shot with my crossbow. Yeah, I know you would probably get a shot with your crossbow. As soon as you turn 12, you'll be out here with your crossbow. I miss you mom. I miss you too. I'll be home. I'll be home on Sunday, okay? Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye, I love you. Okay, bye baby. I thought we'd come up around here and check to see if any of them had come up under the timber, but there's none here, so we're gonna go check back out in the wide open. It's been a tough week. This was really fun, but this is a hard hunt. And this time we stocked in on these three bucks. They came right down where we thought they would. We snuck up there, we got tucked behind a rock. It was looking really good. And out here in the west, there's sheep, herds of sheep, herds of cattle. We've got messed up by both of them quite a few times. And as you can see, the sheep moved right in on us and out went the deer. So. It was my last hurrah, I think. I think for my big buck, that, that might have been the end of it. 
Northeast Wyoming, public land hunting. It's well worth the trip from way back east. I can't wait to bring the girls here. They are just gonna love it. I'm gonna get Alyssa on an antelope. Uh, Maddie has to wait a couple years to be able to hunt here. You have to be 12, but uh, as soon as she's 12, she'll be here with her crossbow. She'll, she'll put the smack down. Maybe mom didn't get it done, the mad dog will get it done. Well, I never did get my mule deer here in Wyoming, but that's okay because it's not all about getting the deer, it's all about the hunt and the adventure, and this was a wonderful, awesome adventure. Had such a good time, <clears throat> had, saw a scenery that was just absolutely gorgeous, and we will definitely be back next year with the girls, and we will get a buck next year. Well, thank you, Zach. It's been a great hunt, and it was, it was so much fun. My first time ever doing this, this was awesome. I just can't wait to come back next year, and even though we didn't get one, I'm still happy as can be. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, good see ya.